Welcome to Drinks and Chill. My name is Gio. This is Matt. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new, we would like you to subscribe. Yes, if please. you like us. Yeah. I, I mean, if you don't already like us by now, then, uh, you know, what the heck. <laughs> subscribe anyway, I guess. Yeah, just subscribe anyway. All right. What so are we, we drinking today? Today we are going to be drinking Maker's Mark. And that kind of threw me off there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually the one that says that. Right. And we're going to go ahead. We're and changing things up. New yeah, year. Apparently. Yep. All sort of whack. And we are going to go ahead and do a new batch. Mm -hmm. FAE 02. That's right. We did try the FAE 01 on our channel. So we'll have that in the description box below. We will. And so check that video out. Mm -hmm. But we both kind of resisted on trying this as soon as you got it. So yeah. for this channel. Yeah, I bought this one a little while ago, and I have not opened it yet because I wanted the first time we had it to be here on the channel together with all of you. Dang it. If I can open this. This is the real reason why I didn't open it. I'm sure that this struggle is real. So if you watched our last video, which was our review of the Jack Daniels Bottled and Bond, we talked about how this year we're implementing a new rating system for the whiskey. We used to just say on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you like it? Uh, but this year we're trying to bring in a little bit more objectivity into our rating. So we're going to be rating this whiskey based on smell, taste, price, and availability. You want to okay. pour us some Maker's Mark? FAE02? And yeah, Maker's Mark is really good with their wax. Right. Oh, we also have a video... Um, from last year as well, if you have not seen that, mm -hmm. of a visit to a distillery. Yes, not just any distillery. This distillery. Maker's Mark <laughs> Distillery. Yeah, we're fans of Maker's Mark here on the channel. So yep. uh, we did a Maker's Mark blind tasting video and uh, the distiller. So we'll put all those down in the description if you wanna check out our other Maker's Mark experiences. Yep. But, uh, all right, cheers. Cheers. I'm surprised you were able to do that. <laughs> I feel like each like whiff I'm taking is like a little bit different from the last. Like yeah, I'm picking up what, something a little extra. So I'm trying to time. like just wait till it like, becomes constant. Yeah, because also the fact that we just opened this bottle, I think you know it's just kind no, of it just like, needs to be aired a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I got that vanilla right off the bat, cherry. Not a strong cherry, like a hint cherry for me. I'm getting it like when I, like at the end of the end of the whiff is mm -hmm. when the cherry shows up for me. Okay, the sharpness kind of died down a little bit. Yeah, so it that's did. nice. It's kind of like settling out and like it's the smell. This is really interesting because the smell has been like developing. Yeah. I think I'm getting a hint of chocolate actually. Maybe. Yeah. Like that yeah, Valentine's there. cherry chocolate kind mm -hmm. of combination. I'm kind of liking that. I'm getting something fruity, not not cherry, but it's like some kind of like fruity, like like almost like a fruit punch type of mm. thing. Not like as robust. Kind of like a mellowed out fruit punch. Okay. I'm liking it. I am too. So what's your rating for the smell? I think I'm gonna go with the four. I'm gonna go with four as well. Okay. It's, I'm liking it. It's a really nice smell. After the sharpness kind of died out, mm -hmm. like everything was really just. Yeah. There. It was almost like a journey because when I first smelled it, like I just got alcohol. Yeah. And then like I just kept going back, like, okay, well, that wasn't there before. Oh, that wasn't there before. It's like every time I smelled it, it was like, oh, okay, there's something new. It's like er once everything settled, did you really get all that flavor in there? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. Okay. Super creamy. Yeah. A little bit of sharpness to it. I feel like this is a nice, like, cold weather whiskey. Have that vanilla sweetness to it. Yeah, on the palate, I'm getting that vanilla. Not getting the the fruitiness that I got on the nose. 
I'm not tasting any of the cherry. No. I tell you, I'm getting like a little like graham crackery type thing. Like some sort of like, it's some sort of like graham crackery or like, um, what do you call those? Um, oh, like the vanilla wafers. Yeah. I think I'm getting that. Like the tail end, I'm kind of getting that vanilla wafer type. Mm -hmm. I'm getting, I'm going to pour myself a little bit more because I, I already finished my glass, but I want to like explore it a little bit more. Come on, dog. The initial sharpness to it, it still goes down pretty well. Yeah, I'm going to stand by the graham cracker thing. I feel like I'm getting a little graham cracker-y thing. All right. So this is the FA-02. Mm -hmm. The fa 2 which was the second limited release by Maker's Mark in 2011. Or 2021. 2021. How far are you going back? <laughs> so they also did the Maker's Mark FAE-01, which we were both really big fans of. Yes. So before we finish this, what do you rate the taste on this one? The taste, I would have to go with a... It's going to be tough. But it have to be objective about this. I'm gonna go with a three. I'm gonna go with a three as well. I just feel like I'm not getting as much as I would like out of the taste mm -hmm. in order to be able to give it that four. I thought it smelled better. Yep. Price-wise, this is gonna be, at least here where we are, it's gonna be between 60 and 70. So that's gonna be a three. And then as far as availability goes, this just became available in our area. Historically, Maker's Mark limited releases usually stay available for a few months. Like if you walk into a liquor store, it'll be there for several months going forward after it shows shows up. So in that regard, I think its availability score should be a three. I think that may go by popularity too, right? Because yeah. FAE want a one, I think that was a very popular drink. That's yeah. probably why it stayed on the shelves a little bit longer. Yeah, it stuck around for a while. I, I still see FAE one like from time to time. Yeah. I think it's too soon to tell if this one's going to do the same, but just based on what Maker's Mark limited releases have been historically, I think this one will, it'll be on the shelf for a few months going forward. Mm -hmm. Three for availability, three for price, uh, three for taste. Uh, and then four for smell. And then four for smell. That is a 13. It's 13 too? It's 13 too. Oh wow. Okay. So this whiskey is a 13. Yep. Let's try the Maker's Mark FAA one. So now I've got the FAE-01 so yeah. that we can uh, compare. So we're going to do a comparison? Yeah. All right. So first we do that. Um, so this one's 54.55 and that one's what? This one is 55.3. 55.3. So that one's stronger. Yeah. Pour yourself a little bit more of the two so you can compare. Okay. All right. So this is one. This and this is, is two. two. Okay. So I'm going to try one. So we're not going to use that same rating scale just for this one. We're just going to go ahead and just do a comparison. Yeah. Just see which one we like better. The two is creamier. Yep. The two is sweeter. Mm -hmm. Am I about to change my mind on the FAE-01? Do you think you like the two better? I'm not saying I like the two better, but I'm saying it my remembrance of FAO1, mm. it might not be up to par in what I thought it was. Oh, like you're not liking the FAO1 as much as you remember liking it. No, I still like it. <laughs> it is much sharper. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like a half percent, but oh. That half percent makes a big difference. And I don't know if it is just the alcohol making yeah, that I difference. Think, I think just how they blend it and mix it. Yeah, the one is definitely sharper than the two. It is. And I, I think that creaminess of the two, even though it's only a one, like a half percent difference in alcohol, I think I think it's that creaminess or those characteristics that really make the difference as far as how much you feel the alcohol, yeah. not the actual alcohol difference, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. More like how, how easy it is going down. Mm -hmm. So tasting notes here, it says a texture forward expression. Remember, that makes sense because of how we were talking about how creamy it is. Mm -hmm. uh, that's full bodied with notes of a toasted oak and a rich creamy finish. Yeah, that was yeah. right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And so with this one, it's a fruit forward expression with notes of tobacco and wood. 
Which honestly, I got no tobacco from it. I don't smoke enough to know like what tobacco tastes like. So like, I just, I just don't have that, um, that recognition of tobacco for it. I feel like they're very different. Yeah. It's hard for me to like say like, oh, I like I this one I can't one say more. which one's, one's better or not. That's why when you say like, oh, do you think it's better? I was like, no, just yeah. not what I thought when I first tried it. As weird as it sounds, I feel like I like the smell of this one better, but the taste of that one better. Mm. I do which... like the creamy taste, but the... Yeah. That sweet creamy taste, that's not bad. It makes things go down a little bit easier. Yeah, it does. It, yeah, this, this one definitely goes down easier, but just from the way it actually tastes, I think I'm still partial to that one. Okay, so this is the 13. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and add that to our infinity bottle. So while I'm pouring this, uh, let us know down in the comment section below if you have already tried the FAO2 and what do mm -hmm. you think about it in comparison to the FAO1. All right. Maker's Mark FAO2 is added to our 2022 Infinity Bottle. Only the second yep. whiskey added. Uh, the first one was last week's uh, Jack Daniels Bottled and Bond. So if you want to see our review on that one, check it out. So far, it's a very bourbon forward Infinity Bottle, but I'm sure it won't stay that way. Nope. Because we got many to come mm -hmm. for the new year. All right. Well, that was our review on the Maker's Mark FAEO2 2021 Limited Edition. Let us know down in the comments what you think of this whiskey and like Gio said, how you think it compares to the FAEO1. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.